taking one of the elements of the, of the, of the set and looking for it. But sometimes it doesn't necessarily work. You know, just because it has pepper in the, in the, in the set doesn't mean that a peppery chocolate will work. This. We didn't think it did. So this one for us just sat beautifully together. It's a nice balance, I think. And also cardamom is very creamy as well. Yeah, so absolutely. It has that creaminess. So do we think it works? Yeah. Yeah. It yes. does. And yes. nice chocolate? Yes. Yes. Very. Yeah. Not bad, is it? So that's the new one. <laughs> that, we've only had that for about 18 months. Um, as I said, we introduced it to uh, sit alongside our regular season of the caramel, which does very well. But, um, yeah, good. Sorry. If not, then all we need to do is walk past the window because we have a giant window. So this was the first of our portraits uh, fragrances, actually, and still is our most famous. And, um, I mean, the head sort of sells him, but his fragrance is very beautiful. He's a... Um, what we would call from a fougere structure. Generally in a fougere structure you would have um, uh, patchouli, oak moss, tonka bean, lavender, though not in that order but those kind of essences and they tend to be quite mossy, earthy, green, hay-like styles of fragrance um, and this one has a wonderful tonka, oh, I'm sure it's past the fragrance part. So we have a wonderful tonka bean note in this which is an incredibly gourmand note we would say edible quality to it. It's also wonderful smoky, there's a soapiness to this fragrance, sort of a shaving soapiness to this fragrance. Um, and there's a rum, a dash of rum in the opening, and also some amber as well, so you get that sort of amber, soft amber uh, dry down you get in the Duchess Rose. To, uh, with a salted caramel, um, this time one of our more traditional ones, we've gone with a dark chocolate salt, sea salted caramel. Um, we felt that this was definitely a dark chocolate because it has that warmth coming through. It has that sort of wintry, autumny kind of feel to it. Definitely and from winter. that, we took that caramel, that richness, but as opposed to the sweetness of the um, pink Himalayan truffle that we put with the Mr. Sam, which I think is a much more sweeter, has a much more sweeter and lighter feel to it. This had a much more earthy, sort of dark, intense feel and that's probably why we chose the dark salt well it probably is why we chose the dark salted caramel truffle um it's very different from the pink himalayan as i say the chocolate is quite dark it's about it's a 72 percent cocoa um and it really cuts through the sweetness of the chocolate so this one again it's a very liquid consent so do watch yourself also has the added hazard of having powdered cocoa on it so do watch that if you're wearing white um, and many of you have this, everyone in white is going to themselves now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this one, as I say, is much more of a suggestion um, rather than an obvious pairing such as the rose or the coconut. This is my, one of my really, I love this. I absolutely love this chocolate because it has a, it really does have an intensity to it. Thank you very much. So, as I say, it's 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 no yeah. that intensity, Perfect. that darkness, that warmth. Mm, it keep, is with that. And keep that in mind by letting it come through, letting it smell. And then you've got the bitterness of the cocoa at the end as well, which is great. It's a quite bitter edge to it. It's a I love this chocolate. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's very good. Very intense. Thank you. Instant migraine. Thank you, Safa. Thank you very much. Are you okay with water? Yeah. It's got that dark sweetness. Yeah. Yes. It's a good pairing with yeah. the flavors. It is, isn't it? It's not obvious. But this is quite outstanding. It's just what you get. It's a feel you get from it, I think. That's yeah. that. Ooh. Mm. I can't, it's something you can't put into words. There's a slight bitterness in the as well. And yeah. 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 The cocoa yeah. as well. The bitter and the cocoa as well. Yeah, and absolutely, yeah. And you've got the shots with the salt. Yes. All kind of works the same end result, but coming through different 
sort of journeys. Yeah. 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 We should have some napkins. Oh, yeah. Does anybody need something to wipe their hands with? We're savouring the last elements of the COVID. They can always lick something in this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Waste not one. So do, we, do we prefer that one, for example, to the pink Himalayan? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, I think so. No, Definitely. Yeah. They're very different. I think they're very different. They're very different. It's quite it's creamy. It's quite creamy. The last one. Yes. yes. And I think that's because of the dark chocolate. It, you know, it works. No, I love that. I love that. The cocoa, yeah. It's quite a... It's intense. Yes. It's a real it hit. Is, yes. If I was drinking good scotch, I would want the dark one. The dark one. No, that's it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Not that I do. Yes, that is Because you need that little bit of sweetness, yeah. but not yeah. as sweet, say, as a rose or, or a behemoth. Yeah. Sh- you don't have that sugary sweetness, yeah. but, no, but you need a hint of it. Just a softener. It's a softer sugar. Yeah. And the other side of the would go better with the Absolutely. I was going to say, some of that we're drinking now is perfect for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Interesting. Good. Good. I think it's nice to do some very obvious ones and then some that's just for no reason work. But you get, as I say, you get the feel of them being paired well together. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Okay. So I've heard another bottle popping downstairs. So feel free to have more refreshment. You might need it after this one. So the next fragrance we are on to is the last of our big five. So this is Terrible Teddy, wonderful fragrance. Um, for this, we have actually partnered with a charity called Tusk. Anyone familiar with Tusk in the room? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? So they're a wonderful charity who are all about the protection of endangered and hunted wildlife, predominantly Af- in Africa, and also um, to support the charities and the people who look after these, these people, these animals, these animals. The wild, and also... <laughs> areas of land and, and different things uh, in associations. So it's a wonderful charity to be associated with. On our website, we're currently giving, um, we're doing a, a match every time someone's buying something on the website. We offer people to donate some money and we will donate two pounds to every single purchase on the website to Tusk. Oh, okay. So, um, so this, this is interesting. A couple of days ago, I had a, um, a customer in the store and I mentioned the Tusk thing, and she works for them, or oh, wow, for WWF or something, yeah. and, and she said they do very, very good work. Yeah, and obviously the rhino is one of the animals that is protected. That's endangered, yes. For this character in particular. So anyway, relating to the fragrance, could someone be uh, very kind and pass the strips down to me? Thank you so much. Another amazing one for this time of year. So this... I'm going to again ask you, in fact, I'll split them in half because I feel this this side of the room will never get the opportunity to, to get in there early enough. There we go. I'll take one and let you have the answers. There's more of some here. Sandalwood. Yeah. Is it sandalwood incense? I think. It is, yes. So that's about the oh, of the collection. collection. Um, it gives you a miss, but ultimately it's going to do with the size of these spray. And that's why we've just chosen these ones to give you
is this yeah, yeah, you? I mean, I, yeah. I've done, it, was a, it was about six months ago, you but did. I actually did it. So. You, but the thing with it, with these ones is because they are they spread further, you get a, a broader spread of fragrance on your skin, whereas it's more concentrated. So, you know, you can still spray it from further away. These will just give you more of a mist. Huh. Is anything missing? Yeah. 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 Anyone have any idea? So we've got we leather and incense to I think maybe one. sandalwood. Frank incense, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Some frank incense. Anyone else? Sandalwood. Sandalwood. Maybe. There is some sandalwood. Yeah. Is that a sweet a green spice of this as well? What is pepper. It? Big pepper. And one of the most prominent essences, I don't know if any of you are familiar with, is vetiver. I was. Well. was so it's this dry, woody essence. Yes. No, vetiver is a very, very long. Dominant. Very, very dominant. Sorry, which one That's a terrible teddy. Terrible teddy. I told you so. Please do, you're very welcome to. <laughs> yeah, so if you're, if you're looking for a you're looking for a fragrance of water, I highly recommend Teddy. Uh, he warms up very beautifully on the skin as well. You really need the warmth of the skin to start kicking this fragrance out. Which one? Okay, so we, we have gone for um our most traditional and our oldest recipe chocolate compared with this one. Um, it also kind of represents everything about who we are, because it's a crown. Um, and so, yeah, tradition, royalty, it's all about who we are. Um, this is chocolate number one. This is chocolate number one, the very first chocolate that produced in the UK by Madame Charbonneau. Um, this is a layered chocolate, and I don't mean, I mean literally layers of chocolate, different flavors, not layers that come through. You start with a, with a chocolate layer on the bottom. You then have a uh, praline level, which is a chocolate and hazelnut mix. You then have a marzipan paste, like an almond paste. And at the very top, you have a little bit of a malt whiskey jelly. And then it's enrobed in chocolate. So it's a real mix wow. of flavours this way. And that's why we put it with this. Because this, again, has got all those wintry, woody, earthy flavours coming through. And we felt that things like marzipan and the malt whiskey and that warmth were a really good match for this perfume. Um, Teddy and the Crown were made for each other, I think. They are really good. As I said earlier, I don't, excuse me, particularly like marzipan, but the combination of those flavours in this chocolate is phenomenal, and it is the most amazing taste sensation as you try it. It was a real cliche, wasn't it? It's a taste sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy also has patchouli, so that dark chocolate quality I was referring to with patchouli. Works yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Again, a dark chocolate, um, seventy percent cocoa. Uh, no, no darker because, as I said, there's so much going on in this chocolate. We want you to get every element. We don't want our dark chocolate to mask the other flavours. Um, I love this. I absolutely love this chocolate. It is one of my favourites. It's one of the first things I tried when I started working here, and I still love it to this day. But it's got so much going on. It's good, isn't it? But nothing, no one flavour is too overpowering. I think that's the nice thing about it. It's a real mix. Yeah. No, it's not that. But yeah, it's a 70%, thank you. It's a 70%. Um, so not too dark. But again, I, I just think the combination of those two works really well together. It's, it's mm. got that feel of autumn about it. It's got that sort of wind, slightly wintry, you know, cold nights, that, that, which I think the perfume is very representative of as well. There's definitely an earthiness. In it. Yeah, absolutely. That kind of woody, earthy feel to it. You know, kicking leaves in the autumn, that kind of feel. We like, do we like that one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a good chocolate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a really good chocolate, yeah. It's a really, really simple chocolate. I think it's one of the most underrated chocolates that we do. It's, it is very often bypassed by most people coming to our shops. Because everyone's about, oh, salted caramel or champagne. <laughs> and it's always like, it's, it's always one sort of left behind a little bit, which I, which I think is such a shame. I mean, we do obviously promote it, things, but um, it's a very traditional style chocolate. As I say, the oldest recipe we do, 
Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's everything that we are. I think the crowns and the rose and bars probably sum up Charles Lily Walker. Absolutely everything about us. Very decadent, actually. It is. Very it's a real. Yeah. Yeah. It comes it's through. Yeah. 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 yeah, it really does. Yeah. It's got, and what we want is that we, you need a, we don't want to have a, sort of a, any kind of aftertaste, a, a nasty aftertaste. You want to be able to taste the creaminess still on your tongue, mm. but then the sort of woody elements and the, and the, the cocoa elements. It's, some, some chocolate has a slightly, when, when you've um, finished eating, it has a, leaves a slightly chemical kind of residue in your mouth on your tongue. It mm. coats your lips with things. Cheaper chocolate, basically, because they're putting more, um, <laughs> less, less uh, good ingredients in there. Mm. Um, and uh, there's, not, there's no, I don't think our chocolate has, is, is overly um, fatty or greasy, which you get if you're having a bar of cabbage. There's nothing wrong with cabbage, as I say, I love it. Um, but it does have a greasy, a slightly greasy element to it, and sugary, yeah. But that, I think, as I say, the crown chocolate for me is one of the best ones that we do. I absolutely love it, yeah. Mm. Also, I find it funny because I can have one of, I mean, I've only really eaten five, but I can have one of these and feel satisfied, whereas I would have a whole bar of cap Absolutely. Yeah. But that's it. Mm. But that's it. Mm. I mean, I, I just, yeah, just, I just said the exact same thing. It's hilarious. It's full of sugar. Yeah. Especially this one. Actually, one of those would be like, I could wait all day for just one of those chocolates. Yeah. No, it's good. It is good. And again, you every ladies. Quality. Yeah. Nice, um, nice with a uh, a, a, a good a good a good uh, or whiskey, yeah. or again mm-hmm. coffee, mm-hmm. or something like that. Mm-hmm. So it's got it's got to be a darker. Mm-hmm. If you're having it with a drink, you want a darker drink, mm-hmm. um, or a strong tea as well. Maybe yeah, yeah very black tea, 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 black tea, yeah, 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 yeah something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, it is. needs an intensity to go with it. Um, <laughs> well, that's that. <coughs> yeah, Guinness. Oh, that's a thought. Never tried that one. That's surprising. I feel actually thinking about this with the Guinness. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's interesting you're saying, you know, you have one, you could just have one chocolate a day. Obviously, working all day surrounded by chocolate. Um, you know, people always say to me, oh, you must get fed up with the sight of chocolate. You know, you've got it every morning, you walk in and say, I get it. Yeah, in, the, in the world. Um, and there's always something to, uh, to, 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 you know, to enjoy. I think what I've learned is that, is that I've learned to temper my appetite slightly. Um, it, for the benefit of my waistline, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I eat chocolate every day. I really do. And I, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, I love it. It's great. But you're like, oh, you eat chocolate. How can you eat that much chocolate? I just do. You know, it's great. I love it. And I think everyone should enjoy it. Everyone should eat chocolate. It's a great... I don't understand people that say to me, oh, I don't eat chocolate. I don't like it. What is wrong with you people? What's wrong with you? It's crazy. Crazy craziness. Absolutely mad. Get out of my shop. <laughs> what are you doing in here if you don't like chocolate? People do surprising how many people say that. It's surprising yeah. how many people come in here and go, I'm allergic to perfume. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you doing in here? Then? And then I go, I'm so sorry, this is not ideal. No, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, do you have anything that's not chocolate? <laughs> what, in a chocolate shop. Something? Yeah, yeah. A pair of shoes or something? Anyway, it's, it's very weird. I mean, the boxes say these ones as well. They're iconic. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's They're it. Iconic. Yeah, They're iconic. absolutely. Well, they? These little round boxes. I mean, um, you, I guess that what we have to try, although I may have some, um, tonight, is that if you say to people, Sharp and then walk, I think 99% of people say, oh, well, pink champagne chocolates. Yeah. You know, it's, it is the most iconic chocolate that we do. Um, we've had Why it for about... That, well, I, we introduced it 15 years ago. It's coming up 15 years ago. And the only reason it was introduced was because up until that point, and I know everything is gender fluid and gender neutral, but up until that point, all our packaging was quite masculine. And our head of retail at the time, Ruth, she said, I want something pretty and girly, and I'm fed up of not having it, you know, in my shop. <laughs> so she, she said, okay, well, let's, let's make something. She said, oh, well, we had a champagne truck, and I want a pink champagne truck and a pink box. Mm-hmm. And, that, and, it, and we did it. We literally did. And it took off like you wouldn't believe. And it now makes up for a third of our entire business. No. Wow. Yeah, we've been retail, wholesale, export. The pink champagne will make up for a third wow. of our entire business. But that's how it came, because she wow. wanted a girly, pretty girly box. I could eat a whole box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> funny you should say that. No. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. So this is it. So it is a milk chocolate cup butter truffle. That's really nice. We use, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a lady who knows what she likes. Um, we use Marc de Champagne to champagne concentrate. Most chocolatiers use that. Um, you, you, it's very difficult to um, 
get chocolate to help retain the flavour of delicate uh, spirits and wines. So that's why you have to use a concentrate. And then it is enrobed in a white chocolate and strawberry coating on the outside. There's a combination of milk chocolate, marked champagne, white chocolate and strawberry. And that's, I think, is what else do you want? Sounds delicious. You know what? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. Should we have a go? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you get mine, yeah. I mean, no, this is, we haven't got a perfect... I'm sure we could find a perfect match or something. But um, I just thought I'd better bring those anyway. Pink champagne. Pink champagne. Pink champagne. Pink champagne. Pink champagne. No, take one then, pass it on. Thank you. It's got... It's, oh, yeah, maybe. It's, oh, my God. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. It's quite sweet. Thank you. Oh, mm. impressive. Oh, yeah. Look at the Wow. I can see why. Oh, yeah. so I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some noise at the beginning, which I apologize for, which actually is our engraving machine. <laughs> I was engraving a bottle for a customer. That's what we that's what I was doing earlier. But so you know, that we do that in the store now, too. It's a complimentary service. It takes five minutes. Well, ten if it was a long message like that. So I do apologize. But it's something anybody can smile to. Yeah, do we have an example of the engraving, Miriam? Um, the chic. Thank you. Which one is this? Which one is this? So this is from our hidden London collection. So this is one that could possibly work. We didn't see that. You have patchouli in this as well, so again, it's There's a lovely, so you have pink pepper and raspberry in this. Pink pepper, raspberry. It's the foaminess though. And then you have some rose sister slatin, which is a a rich leathery resinous note which balances everything out and then a lovely patchouli <laughs> so it's very complex a very sophisticated and decadent combination of essences um, and this is also something from well a sheep uh, style of fragrance created in the early 1900s and a sheep Yes, this is another one which might work. I mean, we have a few that could possibly work, but this is a popular one for us. This is Empressa. Add to that. Ah, uh, oh, this is so nice. <laughs> I spread that. Uh, oh, it is nice. I think I'm, I want it. So this is Empressa, which is one of our very, very popular ones. This is a, a perfect balance of fruity, floral, citrusy, some spices, and then it dries down into a really beautiful kind of soft patchouli. This one. I think the first one, as it as it goes on, is more. Like, yeah, yeah. It has a more it's very like champagne. It works very well with um, a champagne mm. flavour. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 sweet. Sweet. yeah, it's got that sweet. 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 It's got that so any Chocolate. That, that and the crown, I think, are my favourites. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. So any of our fonts are dairy free. We also do um, rogue Brazil nuts. We do uh, canned orange peel.